and here we are at the uh, Alexandra Palace for the London Model Engineering Exhibition. And the idea is that the key is operating the mechanism as if it's inside the person. Uh, and then around that we have a rotating solar system, the, the yellow light represents the sun, the planets are going around, the planets are individually rotating, most of them are going anti-clockwise, a couple are going clockwise just for the geeks because they do, um, and it's a wearable dress, there's a picture of my wife wearing it over there. What a beautiful dress and a beautiful <laughs> wife, yeah. yeah. So some of the planets are spinning uh, transversely to the other planets. That's right, that's um, right. And, and that's representative, that's a true representation of Yes, that's a true representative, yeah. Okay. I, I, you, obviously, there's a limit to how true you can be with something like this. But it's made out of an old bicycle wheel and pieces of EVA floor tiles, the, the, the main build of it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Where do you keep this? Um, it's kept in pieces in different parts of the house. Okay, <laughs> understood. It doesn't. As it doesn't sit pride of place in no, the living room. Not. Or anything no, there's, like there's that, too no. many similar items. <laughs> yeah. we have, Sounds we have like my too house. Much stuff to keep them all out. <laughs> right. Brilliant. It, my original plan was to make a set of wings for my wife. Okay. Uh, I started building them. She very rapidly announced that they were too heavy. So then I made some inquiries about what sort of outfit I might make for myself with wings. Somebody suggested doing Archangel from the X Men. So that's with the wings open and they will close down there's a little a linear actuator each side a bit of mechanics on the back they're about 11 foot wide when they're fully open they go down to about five foot wide it's still pretty inconvenient for walking through doorways but it's a lot you know you could walk around somewhere like this with the rings when they're down that's magnificent the idea then is 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 to be able to, to strap this to your back yes yes and yes. and uh, just uh, just so i can describe it um there's a there's a so key just fob a remote control there's yes. a yeah it's just a little remote control key yeah, fob exactly um, like you'd have for a garage door or something yeah, like that yeah yeah and you click click that button and, yeah. and bang off they go yeah indeed and absolutely magnificent as I can imagine, uh, admittedly, it's uh, aluminium, and then the the feathers are made out of what material? They're made out of ABS plastic. ABS. So plastic. they're quite heavy. The, the, the linear actuators are very heavy as well. If Understood. I did it again, I'd probably make it with a single actuator. Right, one actuator to push both sides. Yeah, yeah I think, yeah, I think okay. that would be doable. Yeah. But yeah. obviously, I you know first set of wings I've made, so you, yeah, 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 you, yeah. You just, we we live and learn, yeah. We live and learn. Yeah, yeah. We've got some Meccano over here. Is this yeah. yours as well? Yeah, that's yeah. mine. That's mine. That I, I wanted to try and build something biological out of Meccano instead of all the sort of buildings. So my idea was to build a a heart and lungs that you could wear as a kind of front pack. So that the heart is rotating. There's a little yellow light which represents the. Um, the pacemaker of the heart, there's a little fan at the top going round to help bring the air into the lungs and then at the bottom you've got some intestines and you've got the liver and the spleen and the stomach <laughs> and on the back is a spare spinal cord to give you extra function there um, and obviously it's, it lights up like spinal cords do <laughs> like all spinal lots, cords lots of little yeah. wires to represent the nerve fibres running down through the spine that's absolutely beautiful as well. Yeah, very good stuff. And um, have you have you ever gone to a party or? or I've been to steampunk uh, events in, and, these in, in these outfits. Yeah, I've worn that. yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife's worn. These have all been worn. Right, um, right. Yeah, the, the the silver dress is a cocktail dress. If you haven't worked that one out, which is a dress which dispenses cocktails. <laughs> That's my kind of dress. Yes. So <laughs> there, there, there are two bottles. You put two cocktails in, represented here for the kids with red water and blue water, a uh, little cocktail holder there, a pot of spare ones down here. This goes on the wrist and you simply press a button uh, and that's dispensing a blue drink because this has turned blue and the pot's turned blue <laughs> and then when the drink's done the colours go off. That's absolutely um, magnificent. So what have you got back. What have you got driving the uh, the pumps for this then? Well on the ah. back is a set of some batteries and in here the electrics which are just some voltage regulators, some um, sensors for the remote control. Nothing, and there's some timer circuits. So it, it simply turns one of these six volt pumps on for, I think it's set for six seconds, and that's the dose of drink that you get when you press the button. And if you're enjoying the content on Dubious Engineering, please don't hesitate to give us a big old thumbs up, and subscribe for more content in the future, and perhaps put a comment or two in, in the comment sections down below. All right, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Take care, have a wonderful evening. Cheers and beers.